Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last class, we have seen what is shifting property of Z transform. And here we are going to take a problem on shifting property. So without wasting time, let us start with this problem. So here in this uh, problem, we have to use the definition uh, and find out the Z transform of 1 upon n factorial. So of course we have to use the definition of Z transform to find out this and then by using shifting property find out this. So whether it is uh, written uh, shifting property or not by looking at this Z of 1 upon n plus k. Okay, so you will come to know this is a problem of shifting property. So before that, let us first of all find out uh, this Z transform of 1 upon n factorial. So let us start with the definition. So by the definition, by the definition of Z transform, by the definition of Z transform, we have what we have Z transform of F of n is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity f of n into z to the power minus n okay now but what we have to find out we have to make use of this definition to get z transform of 1 upon n factorial so just put f of n is equal to 1 upon n factorial we get what we get z transform of 1 upon factorial n is equal to what is it summation n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 upon factorial n into z power minus n okay now what you have to do you just have to you just have to put the values uh, n equal to 0 1 2 and so on just expand this right hand side so it would be 1 upon 0 factorial into z power 0 plus 1 upon factorial 1 into z power minus 1 plus 1 upon factorial 2 z power minus 2 plus 1 upon factorial 3 z power minus 3 and so on. Okay, writing this 1 plus 1 upon factorial 1 I will write this as 1 by z plus 1 by factorial 2 this can be written as 1 by z square plus 1 by factorial 3 1 by z cube plus so on okay now let me uh, remind you of one result that we have learned in the Maclaurian series or the Taylor series expansion about x is equal to 0 for the function e to the power x. So what is the Taylor series expansion for e to the power x? It is 1 plus x upon factorial 1 plus x square by factorial 2 plus x cube by factorial 3 plus and so on. Right? This is the expansion we have uh, learned in the lower classes. So this is the same expansion. Only thing is in place of x we have 1 by z. So using this expansion I can write z transform of 1 upon factorial n is equal to what is it? In? It is going to be e power 1 by z. Okay. So this is the first part that we have done till now. So we are done with the first part and now we can look for the second one. So we make uh, we have to make use of shifting property to get Z transform of 1 upon n plus 1 factorial. Okay. So for that we will write first of all we will write the shifting property and then and then we can find out the result okay okay so 
you can start like uh, we know that we know that so what we know z transform of 1 upon n plus k z transform of 1 upon n plus k or you can uh, instead you can just write f of n plus k it's not n plus k this is f of n plus k is equal to what is it z power k into f of z minus summation i is equal to 0 to k minus 1 f of i into z power minus i okay now what we want we want z transform of 1 upon n plus 1 factorial okay so this is going to be what is the value of k here k is equal to 1 so you can just write z power 1 what is f of z we have found out z transform of this is equal to f of z so what is it this is e power 1 by z okay minus now here k is equal to 1 so sorry k is equal to 1 so summation runs from 0 to 0 to 1 minus 1 0 means only one term would be there and that term would be of f of 0 into z power 0 is 1 so no need to write okay so this is same as z into e power 1 by z minus what is f of 0 my f of n my f of n was 1 by factorial n this implies f of 0 is equal to 1 by factorial 0 what is 0 factorial that's 1 so what is my f of 0 f of 0 is 1 therefore z transform of 1 upon factorial n plus 1 is equal to z into e to the power 1 by z minus 1 so this is one of the important problem under this uh, shifting property so i hope the things are clear to you so thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics thank you